Hello everyone. My name is Manager Reddy. I'm doing my master's at UNT in data science. This is my midterm project for Info 5810. And my project is about Pokemon with stars. And this data analysis is used in Pokemon video games where uh, comparison between two Pokemon depending upon their stats is done. And Pokemon is a popular cartoon show and it has so many video games. And the Pokemon with stats data set which is different types of Pokemon and their respective abilities. This project explains how different stats are used to choose a Pokemon fight against other Pokemon. The name of the data set is Pokemon Instars and the author is Alberto. The source of the data set is from Kaggle.com. And this data set has 721 Pokemon, including their name, patch, and second type, basic stats like health, attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed. All these factors are represented by numerical value or a range for each Pokemon, and some of these are all these factors show the total power of the Pokemon. Uh, generally, the downloaded data set may contain some extra spaces when which are difficult to spot and may contain spelling mistakes blank space, which will be problematic when we are performing analysis. So, in this data set, I have deleted the rows with blank space uh, because type 2 column has some blank space and deleted the entire, entire rows for the data analysis. And, um, and there are serial numbers which are duplicates, and I removed them using field option. And I had discovered a date column for the performing date, date functions. In data analysis, uh, the total power of a Pokemon can be calculated by adding all your sisters. Generally, the Pokemon ranking can be done by calculating the total power of a Pokemon in the video games. So, the total power is calculated by adding health, attack, speed, defense, special attack, and special, special defense. In this, in this example, I have used Bulbasaur, which has 318 as a total power, and its sum is calculated, and its uh, power is calculated by adding all those stats. I have used VLOOKUP functions for performing, for finding which Pokemon has highest power and which type it belongs to. And as well as we can find which Pokemon has lowest power and its type. Here, the highest power Pokemon is Mewtwo, and its power is 780. And it's belongs to psychic type. I uh, use using match and minimum maximum functions for finding uh, uh, highest powered Pokemon. This is the lowest power and its type, as well as the lowest power of 190, and its type is normal. I uh, use used HUCA function for finding total power and health of Pokemon Bulbasaur. And we can find the total number of legendary Pokemon present in our data set by using count with function. And the next part in our analysis is using pivot tables and pivot charts. Pivot tables are uh, used to summarize the data in a table and to perform different calculations very fast and simple manner. Pivot charts are the graphical representation of pivot tables. Multiple charts can be created from a single pivot chart, and this, uh, there are different types of charts in the pivot tables, uh, pivot charts. Uh, total power of a Pokemon with respect to type 1 category and which are legendary as, as well as which are as well as legendary type can be found easily by using pivot tables. Uh, here I have used one pivot table which has name one total power and the applied filter as legendary as true and type 1 I have selected fire type Pokemon so it shows the fire type Pokemon which are legendary here. Yeah. And, and the same way I can find maximum health with the speed, maximum health and maximum speed with respect to type 1 category. Here yeah, it's giving me values of maximum speed and maximum speed which, are, which belongs to type 1 category fighting. So maximum of speed and maximum of health in the pivot table can be calculated by using maximum operations. In, in the same way, we can find which Pokemon has highest power with respect to type 1 and which belongs to generation. Here I have used generation 3 and type 1 category for finding my total power of a Pokemon, which has the highest power of Pokemon. I have used pie chart for this graphical representation. And you can also find relation between two tables in data modeling and in pivot tables. So I have 
created two normal tables and created a pivot table by taking name column from the first table and id column for the, from the second table as shown in the figure and for performing the date functions i have already discovered the date to our data set which represents uh, the pokemon which came which represents the date at which when, uh, when pokemon came into existence so we can find the today's date by using today's function and we can find the age of the pokemon here i found for example we can calculate the age of a bulbasaur so the age is calculated by finding it discover the date which discover the data uh, by a vlookup function and is calculated by using this correlate and to respect the relative function as shown here so we can find the age difference between two pokemons using the date difference function and we can add uh, days and months to a particular date using the date functions and the descriptive statistics of the pokemon for total power and health can be done by using data validation and these validations are done for getting statistical and arithmetical calculations of a but uh, required columns here i have uh, used for total power and health columns so i am getting statistical and arithmetical calculations for total power column i am getting mean standard error median mode etc maximum minimum for both the columns and this is the analysis for this analysis can be used in pokemon games to determine which pokemon can compete with other pokemon and their respective types and in this analysis i have used lookup functions match minimum maximum functions pivot tables pivot charts and date functions and these operations are performed in the excel sheet thank you